All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> so today, um, we're kind of doing a little bit of a holiday themed. Um, we're going to do a side salad that you might want to make for the upcoming holiday. So it features seasonal produce like cranberries um, and Brussels sprouts. And then we're also going to do some salmon nuggets. Um, so instead of chicken nuggets, we're doing salmon nuggets. And I went ahead and made um, a huckleberry dipping sauce um, prior to this demo, just because it takes a little bit longer to make this. But basically, you just take huckleberries or any berries, really, uh, put it in a pot with a cup of water, let it cook down for about an hour. Um, and then you can add a little bit of honey make it sweeter as well as cornstarch to make it um, however thick you want so I try to make it kind of like the thickness of ketchup since we're going to use it to dip our uh, salmon nuggets in um, but for our salad so what I'm going to have you do Kaiwa is I'm going to have you shred Brussels sprouts into this bowl so you can just take the Brussels sprout so we can take this and you're just going to shred them with this, okay? So our Brussels sprouts are going to be all shredded small. You could also cut it thin um, if you want, if you don't want to shred it. While Kai was doing that, I'm going to cut up our salmon. So our salad also has, so it has Brussels sprouts, it has cranberries, it's also going to have some goat cheese. Um, I was told some folks were getting goat cheese donated um, at a food pantry and they weren't really sure how to cook or what to eat with goat cheese. So this is, you can definitely put goat cheese in salad um, like the one we're doing today. Um, it can also just be in a regular you know, lettuce-based salad. I also like when I'm cooking burgers, I like to put goat cheese on top of my burger for the cheese. I think it tastes really good. It's melty. Um, I also think goat cheese is really good. Just, you know, cheese and crackers. Just eat it with some crackers. It tastes pretty good that way, too. But it's definitely a softer cheese, so it's more spreadable. Um, you could put it, you could, you know, spread it on bread like you would butter. Um, so it's pretty versatile, and it's it's kind of more like feta, or it's kind of a more sour cheese. It's not like hard and uh, that sharp taste like cheddar might have. It's more of like a sour fermented kind of taste. Um, and then we're also going to be putting bacon in our uh, salad as well. We're going to chop up some bacon. Um, I already went ahead and cooked that too. Um, we're doing turkey bacon. You could cut it up small. We could do shreds and chunks in there. So I did turkey bacon just because it's a little bit leaner than pork bacon, healthier fats. Um, also, turkey products um, also can be cheaper than other products. So like when I was at the store yesterday, ground turkey is cheaper than ground beef. Um, turkey bacon is cheaper than pork bacon. So definitely consider trying turkey bacon if you haven't. Okay, so I'm putting our nuggets in this pan here. I have it medium high. I'm turning it down a little bit. It's a little hot. This is the pan that we cook the bacon in, so there's a little bit of bacon grease in there. Um, but I also did just put a little bit of cooking spray in there too. Mm 
You could also uh, bake the salmon in the oven too if you wanted. You could do it that way. Also, this recipe called for removing the skin. Um, I left the skin on. It'll just give that side a little bit more crisp. Okay, so I'm just going to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. So we'll just let them cook for a few minutes on each side. Let them get crispy. So I'm just flipping them kind of on each side. So each side gets a little crispy. And I really don't have a whole lot of oil in this pan because I want salmon to get crispy, not necessarily greasy. See what you got so far. This looks really good, Kyla. You want me to do the rest? Yeah. Take a break. For your arm's sake. Some of these small ones, actually, I might just, uh, instead of shredding, yeah. might just cut them up small. Just a little too small to hold onto the creator. That's gonna go on the salad. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So good thing you brought those up. So our cranberries, I also prepped last night. Um, so what I did, because uh, cranberries are pretty tart, pretty sour. What I did is I boiled a cup of water with a cup of sugar, let the sugar dissolve, and then I let that water-sugar mixture cool off a little bit, and then I poured it in the bowl with the, the cranberries, and the cranberries sat in that sugar water in the fridge all night long. So that way they could be a little sweeter you can taste a cranberry if you want, uh, Kiowa. They still do have a little bit of sourness to them, um, but they're definitely sweeter than that sugar water. And I wanted to also point out in this demo, um, the fresh bags of cranberries are now at the grocery stores. You might have seen them. And a lot of them, not, you like it? Not too sour? Good. And um, for Thanksgiving, if you're doing Thanksgiving this year, instead of doing the canned cranberry sauce, you can get a bag of the fresh cranberries. And it says on the back of the package how to make cranberry sauce. So it's pretty much how I did the um, huckleberry dipping sauce, just water, sugar, and put the cranberries in there and let it cook down like that. And if you do your cranberry sauce like that, you will never want to go back to eating the canned cranberries because it's really good. Um, I like to do it too and make extra and I'll like use it to drizzle on desserts, like just plain vanilla ice cream with that cranberry sauce drizzle on it is so good. Um, you could put it on your pies too, um, if you make making any pies. So I'm just going to cut up this. Um, bacon, so it's diced up. Again, did turkey bacon this time for a little bit of a leaner protein source. Um, you could do regular bacon as well. Um, so this recipe I got from another dietitian. Um, I also like to do the broccoli uh, version, which some people may have tried. It has the broccoli. Craisins, um, 
sunflower seeds in it, and it has a similar uh, dressing. So we're gonna make the dressing here. So our dressing, we are gonna do, so we have the zest of two lemons in this bowl. I also have the juice of two lemons, so we'll add that. We're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of honey. So again, a lot of like vinaigrette um, base dressings. It's oil and acid, such as the lemon juice. You can also do lime juice or vinegar, and then something sweet like honey. So if you just have oil, lemon juice, and honey, you got yourself a little vinaigrette. You can also, like I said, do oil, vinegar, and sugar, uh, oil, vinegar, and honey. You can also use agave syrup. Okay, so we have our one and a half tablespoons of honey. We're going to do a quarter cup of olive oil and then a little salt and pepper. So how do you do that for me, Kyle? Mm -hmm. Just go on. Do our quarter cup of olive oil. Do a little salt and pepper. Check on these salmon over here. Oops, I almost burnt myself. Do the walnuts. 
if you don't have any, you can do whatever nuts you have. Or you could even do seeds. You could do sunflower seeds. Or you could do no nuts or seeds at all. Whatever your preference. I think, um, let me get this one. The nuts are nice because they add a little crunch to your salad. Nice change in texture. And they're full of good, healthy fat. Add a little more fat and protein to your salad. And there you have it. Higher up. Hold it higher up. There you go. Thank you. Jack had a